Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I have another Ipsy bag. Um, I know I keep saying I'm gonna get rid of them, but I'm probably not. I've just been getting them for so long that I don't really know why I should just stop. I mean, I'm getting some quality stuff sometimes and I really do enjoy that now. They allow me to pick the product. So um, I'm definitely gonna show you guys probably on this side now what I was selecting. So yeah, so I'm gonna make this video really quick and simple. Happy Fabuween. Um, I know this is definitely not Halloween content. Um, neither was my fashion fall video, which you haven't seen, please check out and I'll link that down below. Um, so yeah, if you guys also wanna check out my Fabuween plate. I have to like. So yeah, if you guys wanna see what I got in my Ipsy bag for this month of October, let's get right into this video. Also cue the February intro that has nothing to do with right now, but it's still October, so let's go. So this month, the pouch is super cute and I'm very big into like astrology i am a taurus um so i definitely like how the bag looks it kind of gives me that vibe of like astrology and like the different signs around it but it's like lipstick a heart a makeup brush um a little compact like mirror with like powder or something in it um a spoolie on like a mascara brush or some sort and then a moon um and then at the end it says ipsy and like a little bit of eye like a yeah then the other side it says you are magic so let's get right into the bag. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is the card, of course. It says, you are magic with a pinch of shimmer and a wave of your mascara wand. This month, cast a spell on yourself. Cause you know, it's Fabuline. So I guess this is kind of like Fabuline content. Whether it's nailing the perfect smoky eye or taking that big life leap. Um, I haven't had any life leaps lately. Um, let your intuition guide you to your goals. All right, so this is cute. This is the front of it. Um, I'm just gonna open it inside and see. Remember last time I read it and it was like not telling me the products I got. It was just giving me a generic like, I don't get it either. Um, and it just says in here, trick or treat your full moon beauty guide. And then it gives you like a guide, I guess for everything. And I'm not, I'm not gonna read it all because I never do. But if you guys want me to read these like cards, comment down below and let me know because I don't like reading them. So maybe you don't like them either, but if you guys really wanna know what like it says on there, let me know and comment that down below. So the first product I'm picking out of here is a Tarte product. I love Tarte um, Cosmetics. I love their um, Tape Shape um, concealer. I use it all the time and I definitely use it to contour. Um, not only just to conceal my eyes, but right here, this is the Shape Tape Setting Powder. Um, I use a different type of setting powder. I think it's from Kat Von D. Um, and then I have another setting powder that I got from ColourPop. Um, the only thing I find all the time is that it's very ashy looking on my face um, and I get a lot of like flashback Mary moments um, when I'm using it. So I do like the ColourPop one because it does have a brown tint to it. So it's like, brown like with my skin like it just looks good but like my Kat Von D one is white um so I don't really like it that much so I really have to go light on it but look at here I'm already very excited this is my tannish color oh it comes with this little like blotting on my yeah this little brush really cute well like not brush but like pad oh this is really soft hmm um and then you can close that part and then i'm trying to figure out how you open up the other part maybe twist it yeah you twist it i'm not trying to get this on myself huh there's two things oh i'm so dumb so i guess if you just want to use this part and dab and you just want to touch up but the bottom part is actually the same thing. I thought there was two of these cat pads in there. Up. Like so. And then we're gonna take it. I'm gonna do some blot. I have a, a lot of acne. Oh, it's so white. Oh no. I'm gonna be ashy the rest of this video.
Is it that bad? I feel like it has this like lighter tint to it. Um, let me read the shade. The shade is, it's a translucent tan to deep powder. Um, no, no, it's not. Box, it says this is a sample not for sale. So they're selling the sample boxes from, I guess that they use at like Sephora or like um, Ulta and they're selling it on Ipsy. Sample not for sale. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess because I'm getting it at a discounted price instead of paying, 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 instead of paying full price for it. Um, if you think about it, I'm paying $25 a month for all these products. So 25 divided by five, it's $5 each. Okay, so my next product that I'm taking out of this bag is a lip gloss. I know I got a lip gloss last time and I was kind of frustrated this time because I'm getting another one again, but I don't really need that many lip glosses. I use like kind of like the same ones all the time. Um, so I guess it's nice. Ooh, but this one's pretty. It's a Violet Boss lip gloss. Look at that, look at the shimmers. That's so pretty. I'm gonna probably put it on right now. It's in the shade Dream. <laughs> I know it took me a while, but it's in the shade Dream. Um, so I'm gonna just rub off what I have on already now. I'm gonna use my new Shape Tape Powder um, Compact Mirror to put it on. So let's open that back up. Hopefully I don't make a mess. I'm just gonna put that on. And this is the applicator, it's kinda nice. Let's see. Oh, this is so soft. What the heck? This is a nice lip. What? I got a little gloss on myself. I rubbed it off, but wow. This is a nice lip gloss. It's super soft. Like it doesn't feel tacky at all. It doesn't, it doesn't even feel like a gloss. It feels like more like a lip oil. Wow. I like that. It's a little bit, a little much shimmer for me. A little bit of a lot of shimmer for me, um, but I'm digging the, the, the texture, the scent, you saw me, the scent, um, wow, I'm very impressed. The next one. All right, so we're here again with another product. Um, this one is Beauty For Real. Um, this is another eyeliner and it's in the color, well, shade, just black. Um, I think I have this already. I don't think I've ever used it. Um, so I can't say whether or not I like it or not. Oh, it's not even a, I'm so dumb. It's not an eyeliner. It is a mascara. Um, I already have mascara on right now, but we can go ahead and just like top coat it. And we're gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape um, setting powder compact mirror thing once again. Don't come for me. Let's put it on the bottom lashes and see. Oh, oh. This is nice. No, I like this. This is actually nice. I mean, the applicator is pretty small, so I definitely know that I would use this maybe on my lower lash line. But yeah, it just says defining um, volumizing mascara, high def. Um, so yeah, so let's go on into the next product. So the next product I have is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion, Dermabrasion, yeah. So I already have this pore perfecting exfoliator. I love this exfoliator. When I use it, um, I always wash my face first with um, a cleanser or some sort, and then I use this. I go on really nicely with some hot water, really rub it in, um, exfoliate my whole entire face. It gets really red around here um, in my T-zone area, but overall always like helps me out. I have like, like a lot of breakouts at the moment. Um, it's very helpful. I have a small version of this, so this is really great that I have a larger version of it. Um, I don't know if I ran out of it. I don't think I have, um, but now I have a backup. The last product that I received is from Mishiko. Mich um, and I'm excited about these. These are nail polishes. I've received nail polishes from them in the past and they've been really great. Um, I think I only had two, but at the time I was getting my nails um, with the powder gel. And then I kind of realized how unsanitary that was, um, dipping my nail into the powder so many times. Uh, when other people have also been doing the same. I ended up getting my own powder kit and I was doing my own powder for quite some time. Um, but it really is a lot of wear and tear on your nails. So I kind of stopped and these are my natural nails. Um, yeah, I pretty much take really great care of my nails and they grow really long. So I don't really do much with them, but I do want to paint them. So I'm glad I did get this product. 
Um, it's two polishes. So one is just like this, like, what's it called? Unbothered, and it's like this, like, purple, like, lavender light color. And I really like this. It's gonna be really cute on my nails. Um, don't know if I'm gonna put it on right now because it's kind of like fall and I want some fall color, so I'm thinking about black. But I did also get this clear coat and it's a top coat um, and it's so nice. I love the bottle. The way these bottles are, let's just, take a, let's just take a look. It's like a salt and pepper shaker, but it's cuter. I love the little gold like round part to it. So I'm gonna definitely do my nails and I'm gonna try out this top coat. So I'm really excited um, and I'll let you know, let you guys know how that goes. <laughs> So that is it for this video. I know it's a pretty quick like Ipsy bag un unboxing. I'm not sure, um, maybe because the items were pretty small and I was able to try out a couple of them. So that was really cool too. Um, let me know down below if you guys want to see me really try in depth these products that I'm receiving. I know I've kind of just been doing the unboxing, but I really want to know what you guys want to see um, when I do these type of videos. Um, so yeah, so guys comment down below, like this video, let me know what you think. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, I can't wait for November content to come in. It's going to be really great. I'm telling you guys, we got a lot of stuff coming. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.